what is going on YouTube? This is Eminem Gaming. Welcome to another vehicle showcase video. Today, we are looking at a 2024 BMW X3. This is the 30i xDrive model. The engine compartment here, so we have a eight speed transmission. This is the gasoline direct injection, intercooled turbo premium i4 cylinder motor. And it is two liters producing 248 horsepower with a torque of 258 pounds per feet. Compartments here you guys can take out and clean off inside here. So we have like a lot of dirt and stuff you guys can kind of see there. You guys can take that out. There's one on each side so you guys can open on one side and open on the other side. This side looks like it's for the coolant reservoir and here, so close that up. I think this latch is just like broken here, I'm not sure why. The hood up here, you have the oil type, which is the 0W20, SAE 0W20. And I believe the other, okay, so this is the other sticker down here and it's the, BMW like original card for the vehicle looks like there is regulations yeah so that's all the sticker information there so let me go ahead and close that up okay well that's there we go and then here is the key for the vehicle as you guys can see here we have the it's a silver plated with BMW logo. The range of the vehicle is 361.2 miles in the city, 481.6 highway miles. The fuel capacity is 17.2. And the MPG, 21 miles in the city, 28 miles in the highway, and 24 estimated combined miles. Now getting into the dimensions, that was the range. And so the dimensions are 112.8 inches for the wheelbase and 185.9 inches on the length from bumper to bumper. As you guys can see here, we have pretty similar dimensions from the 21X3 or 23X3, I believe is the last one I did. The width is 84.2 inches. And then the width without the mirrors is 74.4. Height is 66 inches. And ground clearance actually changed from 7.2 to 8 inches of ground clearance. The curb weight is 4,149 pounds. The gross weight is 5,357 pounds. And open here, so the cargo area itself is 28.7 feet cubed. And so that is the cargo area here. So you have a little compartment here and you can actually open this portion here. And it would actually show there's actually like a little section here that I just noticed you can actually put, it looks like there's a little bit of an extra compartment space here and it looks like it probably fits some items in there. This is like a license plate, but you guys can see here, this is actually a pretty big area. You could probably fit a small suitcase in there. So on this side, you actually have, this, this whole thing comes out. You actually have another little compartment here. This part's separated from this opening. So you actually can't get to it if you had this thing open. So you actually have a little hidden compartment on this side that you could probably put some small item if you're trying to hide something. So you can actually put something there. And this part you'd have to open off the top here. I've mentioned this to you guys in prior videos, but if you guys are trying to get this little sleeve here, uh, it's for the cargo compartment, you want to put this up actually hook it onto both sides of the cargo area the trunk here you put this over and it, it hooks in covers this entire cargo area so that no one can see through the window and then you would just pull this down it comes out push this button here on the right side of the car and once you push that it unlocks this side and you can pull it out and then both sides come out from inside here and you can actually uh, take this entire thing out so you guys hear the rear lights here okay there we go the back seat you actually have a middle center console area here we can put drinks and other items you kind of stick them in there and then you do have two usb-c ports there's like a little section you probably put your phone or something in this little area 
You do have the rear ambient lighting on the doors, so you can see it here. You have a panoramic moonroof, so you can actually see the roof goes all the way back there. And there we go. This is the MSRP. You have basically a stock price of $48,900 for the vehicle. And then getting into it, we have the color, which you guys can see the color of the vehicle is dark graphite metallic. See, so there's the reverse. You have the 360 camera view. My door's still open. There we go. This is the back of the vehicle, the, the back the backup camera. However, you do have a 360 view. When you click on the, the 3D view, you can see every angle of the car. And so you can actually go in a car wash mode. It shows you the front of the vehicle. And so you can see that angle. When you click on parking, you can actually click on, there's the option to click the front of the vehicle. So you can actually see right on the blind spot areas, but you can actually see right on the front. This is actually the front of the vehicle. But you actually do have a heating steering wheel as well. Going from the base price of 48,900, we're actually going to 53945 and so that is for the 2024 BMW X3 xDrive 30i so as you guys can see here that would be the price and we have the 24 mpg 21 in the city 28 on the highway okay yeah, so i'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on Push the brake so we'll start with eco mode most BMWs if not all of them they turn to a blue colored instrument screen everything's kind of like a bluish tint I guess specifying that you're in eco mode and then going to comfort mode, you kind of have like the standard. This is what the car will always start up as in the sport mode, which is pretty similar to the comfort. So as I'm switching, you guys can see the instrument panel it doesn't really change much. It just kind of has like a little bit of a slightly different layout to it, but it's pretty much the same. This car does not have adaptive mode. You do have this button, which is for descending down a hill, which hill descent control deactivated or activated i thought that was for when you have a trailer hitch of the auto hold button as well as the parking brake so those are two of the buttons you can actually choose here turn them on and off and you don't even have i don't even have to hold the brake actually you can actually turn on the auto hold and then turn the parking brake on and then if you turn off both of them they'll turn off i guess because we're in park so you have a usb port over here that is what that is you guys can see it and we also have a eight volt car jack port. And then I think there's one in the glove compartment. Yes, there's garbage in there. Don't know whose that is, but there is a USB-C in the center console. And you guys can see we have the X3 logoing on the door frame here, as well as in the center console area here. This is the tire pressure. Also a quick look for you guys. We actually have this pathway lighting. It's like the welcome lights. It looks like it doesn't come from the door like the mirror like the two series does it actually appears to be coming from like the I think it's probably from over here it's probably from down here actually yeah it's right here you guys can see it's like down here on the bottom of the it's like somewhere in here just so you guys can see this is the parking lights or daylight running lights as you can see it's like the we have rear lights are really bright actually i don't know if you guys can see it on the camera how bright they are like they're they're pretty bright and then here is the headlights. That is the standard headlights that are on. And then we have the high beams. The high beams are on, they're pretty bright. I didn't see a LED package, a LED package for the lights. So I think these are just stock lights. This isn't chrome, it's like a alloy on the front of the grill here. Okay guys, to get into this driving portion, we're gonna go ahead and switch into sport mode. And we are going to get moving here. So let's just go ahead and try this out here. And there is just around, what was that, 69 miles an hour? So that is 69 miles an hour, zero to 69. Compared to the other X3s that I've driven, because I have driven the S drive and the X drive in the older models, and I'm not sure how to describe it, but I feel like you kind of have stronger launch when you're trying to make like a turn or if you're trying to get moving, you actually have a bit more acceleration fairly quick. And so let me do that again for you guys here. And there is the launch for you guys. So that was about 70. Um, probably should have just went to 60. I guess that's like the 
benchmark and that was at a 20 mile an hour. I was looking at the speed when I was making the turn and just as I floored it, it was going 20 miles an hour. So we're just gonna start from stopped basically going the other direction and we'll do an acceleration here for you guys at a stopped since there's no one coming. So we'll go ahead and stop here and we'll go ahead and floor it. Okay, and that was about 70. I feel like, so it's kind of strange. There's certain instances where it immediately takes off, right? Like you'll immediately, like if you just floor it from like, like stop, it'll immediately kind of just take off. But there's some instances where like right there, there was a slight delay. It started to accelerate at a basic speed. And then you kind of get like this, like as it hit like 10 or 20 miles an hour, I believe somewhere in the range there, just as it starts to move, I feel like maybe it's like some sort of safety on the car or traction control or something. But after that, then it, you can feel like it goes full power. There is the panoramic moonroof for you guys. Last little look there. Get that closed up. And there is the panoramic moonroof. Took me a while to get that word down. In the last few videos, I've been struggling to say that, <laughs> that word. Uh, but yeah, so there we go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys. Fix this steering wheel, get it straight there. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube. Baby, now I got the flow. I'm about to pull out his wasteful cuts. And I've been waiting so long.